like to share with you my clothing haul from Belle. Now Belle has been having a sale, 75% off their summer clearance items. And then I happened to go, one of the days I went, there was an additional 10% off. Now I tend to do better on clearance racks than I do at thrift stores or garage sales and definitely I can always beat Walmart in quality and price on the clearance rack. So I'm a clearance rack girl. Now I spent over $300. I spent more than what I really wanted to spend but um, there's nothing here that I really feel like um, that I would return. So anyway I think I'm keeping everything that I got that I'm going to show you. So anyway I had filmed this and I started with sort of my dresses, my pants and then through the shirts and it wasn't filming. So we're working in reverse now. I'm going to show you my shirts. This one, this shirt was $58 and I paid, sorry I have a cheat sheet. You see me looking down, I'm looking at my cheat sheet to see what I paid. I paid $6.99 for this shirt. It's a little bit more casual and flowing, but you know, I think I'll get a lot of use out of that basic shirt. This shirt was $11.99, originally $48. Um, I uh, like it. It's not a color that I have a lot of with the pink, but I have a lot of black. So um, I have a lot of things this will go with. So $11.99. This shirt, now that one I just showed you I wore. And then taking the takes off. This one I've not worn yet. My daughter doesn't particularly like it, but I am a purple girl. So I really like it. It's Jones, New York. It's a size medium. I actually could have used a small, but they didn't have a small. It was normally $64, and I paid $7.19 for it. It's a stretch shirt. I need a pair of casual khakis or navy blue pants to wear with it. I need to, um, in a couple of months, because i got enough clothes to get me through like the next couple of months, but I am going to be looking for some deals on some basic khaki colored pants and navy pants to add to my wardrobe. I got this sweater vest. I've worn this. I have a pair of black pant, like straight leg dress up pants, pencil pants or whatever, slim leg, and I wore it with a little um, black uh, sleeved shirt, short sleeve shirt, and um, and this. So anyway, this was let's see, nine dollars and eighty nine cents. I have this shirt, um, but the one I have it has a design on it, a geometric design, and. I wore this type of shirt to all my interviews with a pair of black pants. And I decided to get it in just a solid black. It was normally $48 and I paid um, nine, wait, let me see, $10.79 for this, $10.79. This shirt is actually a little bit more, ex one of my more expensive shirts and to me, I don't know why it was more expensive. It's Chaus. Um, this is, um, it's got these florals. It looks good uh, tucked in or untucked. It was normally $72, which seems really high to me. And I got it for $16.19. But I really like it because I have black and, um, you know, it's easy for me to get a lot of black items because I like black, I look good in black, it's slimy, and I love black and white, and uh, I just liked aqua. So um, I got this, $16.19. I got this little Michael Kors like polyester jacket. It has a zip, brass zipper from top to bottom. It has the little Michael Kors thing here, these little brass buttons and little three-quarter sleeve tab thing. But uh, this was also 75% off. I used a $10 Belk Rewards for this. I only used one reward and then um, I ended up 
paying under $10 out of pocket because I didn't have enough to use my second reward. So anyway, so I got this for under $10. Um, this is just a little throw-on sweater. I got this for $7. And um, the office is air conditioned, so I like little sweaters to throw on. This, oops, I, had to, I wore this today to church over a dress. Um, this I got for $6. It's just a white Kim Rogers cardigan. This is the only thing I did not get at Belk. It is a scarf, and it was normally $14.94 and I had a $5 Old Navy reward and so I got this at the Old Navy clearance and I don't have my receipt but I paid under a dollar for it because I was trying to hit it as close to five as possible and actually when I was getting these out I saw that this looks very nice with these pants that I got um, I've worn these I wore these my first day into work so um, with the Michael Kors zip up jacket, but um, so these are just a pair of like summer dress pants. These were thirteen dollars and four cents. They were normally like fifty six dollars. This is a pair of pants that I got on the clearance rack. These were five ninety nine. Normally forty nine dollars. Not the most versatile color, but I just felt that um, they fit well, and I could probably get $5.99 worth of wear out of them. So I got those. Then I got a black pencil skirt, and this was normally $58, and it was $13.04. It was a Raffaella. So some of these brands are weird brands, like um, this is a Raffaella. This is, um, the red pants are New Direction. So these are like Belk brands, I think, like the New Direction is, but this Raffaella is 1304. This is a Jessica Simpson dress. This was normally $98, and I paid $22.04. This is a Gabby Sky dress, S-K-Y-E. It's a G-A-B-B-Y for Gabby. And I um, really like this. I wore this with that white cardigan today to church. This was normally $88, and I paid $19.74. I got this Maggie London dress. This might be a more casual dress, but the colors look great on me. It just fit perfect. I just loved it. And I have a pair of turquoise uh, fry ballerina flats that just look so nice with this. And um, I got this. It was normally $148, and I paid $33.29. And this is my favorite dress. And this the issue was, like, I probably don't need this many dresses, but they all fit so nice. They were very flattering, and I just couldn't turn them down for this these prices. So this was an Ann Klein dress, and um, it just it looks so nice with my tan. It's flattering. I love this one. It was $129, and I paid $28.79 for this dress. So on my little business shopping spree, I paid around $325 for the items. Now I have about $100 in the dresses, $100 in shoes, and $150 in the other items. So let me show the other items. I've shown you everything except for the shoes. So I'm going to show you the shoes. I got this pair of Clarks. They were $8.75. Normally... $70, $8.75. I mean, how can you turn that down? Now I got another pair of Clarks, and these Clarks were 
$7.87. And that is because I got these Clarks when um, there was the extra 10% off. So here is this shoe. And I mean, <laughs> for less than $10 for Clarks, I just snatched those up. So I got those two pairs of Clarks. <coughs> I really like the shoes I bought. I did not probably need all these pairs, but um, I just love these shoes. I got this Michael Kors pair of shoes. Now, they were normally $150 for these Michael Kors, and I got them for $33.75. And, you know, they can go with my black skirt. They can go with um, that last Ann Klein dress I showed you. They can go with blue jeans. I mean, these are just so versatile. I just love these. So, the Michael Kors. Then I got a pair of shoes from a brand called Earth. Never heard of them before. These were normally $109, and I bought them for $29.43. This is what they look like. Um, the, I couldn't believe it, but my daughter actually approved of these shoes. She liked the style of them. Um, to me, they're a little bit unusual, but they are so comfortable. I don't know if you can see the inside of these but they are so cushy. I mean, they are so nice to walk on and so cushy. I've worn these to work. I love them. Then here's a pair of shoes that um, I don't necessarily need need, but they're a pair of black shoes and um, they're Anne Klein and they go beautifully with that dress, the Anne Klein dress I showed you here. I mean, it's just, beautiful. They just look so nice. They were normally $79 and I got them for $21.33. $21.33. I just really like these. And then just a pair of plain black uh, strappy shoes that can go with so much. They're life stride soft system. So they're comfortable. And these those shoes were only six dollars and seventy-four cents. Six dollars and seventy-four cents. Uh, I'll tell you a funny story. Like, do I need these shoes? You know, I have a lot of shoes in my closet, but some of them are actually pretty old because my dress shoes, um, you know. I was a homeschool mother, a stay-at-home mom, a homeschool mother. I homeschooled my kids all the way through high school. And uh, after they graduated, my youngest went on to college is when I started to work at Amazon. And you know, so I wore some nice clothes for the interview. The whole time I worked at Amazon, you just did not dress up because nobody dressed up there. It was not that environment. So I was dressing up for interviews. And um, I had had an interview. Right after the interview, I went to meet a friend about vacation Bible school. So we're talking and we're planning and we get up from the meeting because we're going to go shopping for the craft supplies. And my foot catches and I look down and I have been wearing a pair of black pumps that I had had for I don't know how long. Now they were in good shape because they hadn't been worn a lot. But um, so... I stood up and I felt something catch and I looked down and basically the shoes were dry rotting. They were, they were probably like 20 years old and the, the bottoms were like flapping. The glue had just come undone and uh, we had to go shop and then I ended up, because uh, I was so scared that it was going to catch and I was just going to do a face plant while we were shopping, I tore off the bottom and I thought that I'd be able to just gorilla glue it later. Well. There was like that much that went under the hill that just would not go under the hill. So I ended up trashing those shoes. But So uh, some of the shoes that are in my closet that are maybe nicer shoes, um, I don't know how much life they have left in them. So I'm glad to have picked up these pairs at the bargains that I got them for. But anyway, I just thought that was a funny story. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, my clothing haul. and. 
I will see you next time. Bye.